so I think that's why Joe and Bernardo LaCarney and you know Harry and Ellery and Elton and them are mad because they're finding out you know, the criminal underlords didn't even really want to be criminal underlords in the first place or overlords and then when they find out there's a group of you running around Harry and Joe and you're then they find out you're just a bunch of dorks anyway you know? And it really makes it easy for them to, you know, get out of the business that they probably never wanted to get into in the first place. So, you know, people are willing to pay a lot of money for this to, you know, improve their lives in any way possible. Bernard and maybe Bernard, they know some things that, you know, Harry and Joe and you guys were stupid shits in the first place for fucking shit all up. Because in the first setup, nobody who had, had to have been a criminal underlord. That was the whole intent, Harry. And, Elton and Joe, but you know, you guys had to just be cool, and now <laughs> you're finding out, Bernard, that <laughs> those people really didn't want to be dictators or criminal underlords as Perlita tries to erase, erase her dominant assertion as a dictator with Karen for country and western. So they let you, Karen, with the carnies and ghetto life. <laughs> Seeing how those people out here and throughout Texas and Colorado who never wanted to be actually find a legitimate way of getting out, as you guys think it's cool getting in, and well, it doesn't really work that way too well. So 61 amphibious base, man. <laughs> All American, how well did that comic book work for you when you knew nothing about it anyway and it destroyed everyone's life? So, you know, they let you become the criminal director, overlord, underlord of the world over there and, you know, completely humiliate yourself till the end of time. 